So Fonnie Willis told y'all that she was coming out to everybody inside of Atlanta, you know, talking about in the surrounding areas of it all. That she pretty much said a lot of more indictments were coming down, and it does look like she was not playing at all. Atlanta has now did another RICO indictment on PDE. Now, PDE, of course, that's Young Nudie's rap group, uh, and they are extremely close to 21 Savage. Now, a lot of people thought 21 Savage and his group will be getting some type of RICO, uh, but it looks like he has been able to slip through the cracks. Don't know for how much longer, because like I say, with this PDE arrest, they are creeping slowly and slowly towards 21 Savage. Uh, now, Young Nudie himself, it doesn't say that he was actually arrested. It just says eight members of Young Nudie rap group PDE were hit with RICO charges uh now i'll get more into those details right after the intro welcome back to key talk media check it out man key talk society go and like the video so we can get the story started anyways so uh, what they're pretty much saying in the report of the arrest uh, it says eight people accused of stealing identities probably doing some type of fraud uh, of atlanta residents to claim unemployment that's that ppp loan stuff benefits in the state of georgia have been indicted the fulton county district attorney office announced wednesday all eight are facing charges, including violation of the Georgia RICO, Racketeering Influence and Corrupt Organization Act, violation of the Georgia Street Gang Terrorism, probably doing hits and stuff, uh, and Prevention Act, conspiracy to defraud the state and identity fraud. That's probably like getting little, um, you know, Visa debit cards, uh, probably saying like, hey, man, what bank you went type stuff like that. Uh, after a 30 month long multi-jurisdiction investigation, good Lord, a Fulton County grand jury voted to indict eight individuals described as associates of PDE criminal street gang so uh and then of course that the uh the guy who always get all the details uh the george chitty guy uh, he came out and he pretty much gave um, of what's going on. He's kind of like an insider kind of guy. So he says uh, at least four of the defendants were arrested on charges related to the indictment in 2021. This looks like something they've put together to build a larger overreaching case. Uh, I'm reading through the 157 uh, page indictment now. The eight defendants are accused of stealing people IDs locally and from wherever they could get a car. Yeah, like I told you, I was getting the credit cards and using identities, uh, submitting them for pandemic employment, of course, that's that PPP loan stuff uh, and collecting, uh, kicking back part of it uh, through the Chime banking. So Chime banking, you know, talking about anybody trying to get you with that Chime bank, they have to stay away from them because they like us investigating that. Uh, it also says getting this looked like it was pretty basic investigation. They had access to phone text messages. The names and photos of IDs, people getting their IDs stolen were in the text. But prosecutors either don't know or didn't identify the counterparts on the other end of the text. This um, that seems intentional. It means they're still exploiting the phones of the people who were texting the people on their indictment. Oh, that means that whoever was finding the cars and then texting the people that they got the cars, they're still looking at those phones right now at this very moment. So, uh, which means they're still collecting information, but it means stuff is still hacking. Uh, it says no act of violence are associated with the gang charges. Identity fraud is uh, considered a gang crime on the statue. And that's what they're using. So at least it ain't no doing hits on nobody at all. It's just a whole bunch of, uh, they were just getting money. That's what it is. They was getting money by defrauding the system, using other people's identities. Probably, uh, you know, the, the fraud system. Y'all know what's going on right now. Um, it says the eight charged are, I'm not going to say other names, but uh, they're pretty much part of the PDE group. And then the last parts of his message is pretty much, um, yeah, that's pretty much what it says. So we'll just have to see how the rest of this goes. The good news is it isn't any type of like violent stuff where there's murders and hits and, and this guy done got kind of like the YSL Young Thug. This is just like some, uh, you know, fraud and stuff like that. Uh, maybe it's fraud instead of white collar crime. I think it may be. But anyways, we'll just have to see how the rest of this goes and also it doesn't look like young nudie himself uh was arrested so i'm sure he will definitely make sure the gang gang got lawyers and a lot of money on their books you know what i'm talking about uh but anyways let me know some who do y'all think will be the next people to get indicted let me know some coming up below let me know what you think about this entire deal i'm out